In this lesson, we're going to talk about asymptotes and why an exponential equation results in a horizontal asymptote. Well, what is an asymptote besides a silly word? It's a line that the curve on a graph approaches but never reaches. For example, on this picture here, here's a curve, and it's approaching this line B, which is the asymptote. It'll get closer and closer and closer to that line for forever, but never actually reach it. So why does an exponential equation result in a horizontal asymptote? Well, here's a graph of an exponential equation you should be very used to. This is y equals 2 to the x. Your standard exponential equation, 2 to the x. Each time on this side, it'll double. And each time in the negatives, it will halve. Here on the negative side, you can see that this curve approaches the line x equals 0, which is the x-axis, approaches the line x equals 0, and gets closer and closer and closer to infinity, but will never actually reach it, even if it looks like it. It's just getting closer and closer and closer, but never actually reach it. Why does this happen? Well, let's look at the equation, y equals 2 to the x. In order to explore this, it's very important that we remember what exponents mean. A positive exponent means that I'm going to multiply by this base this many times, or I have this many of these bases that I'm multiplying. So 1, 2, 3, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and that's where the point 3, 8 comes from on, on our table. But a negative exponent means I'm going to divide by that number that many times. If I have 2 to the negative 3, that means I have 1 divided by 2 divided by 2 divided by 2. That would be 1 over 8. And we can see that happening as we type these into the table here. Negative 1 is 1 half. Negative 2 is half of that, 1 fourth. Negative 3 is half of that, 1 eighth. Negative 4 is half of that, 1 sixteenth and so on. So you can see as this continues, the number in the denominator gets larger and larger and larger. That just means I'm dividing the original number into more and more pieces. Is there ever a number that's large enough that I can divide by that will get me to zero? If I have something, can I ever split it into so many pieces that it's nothing? The answer is no. Those numbers, those pieces will be smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, but will never be nothing. As I go, I can even go down to negative 10, is an incredibly small number, such a small number that it had to use scientific notation here. So we will continue to approach zero as this number gets very, 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 very small, but never reach zero. And that is why zero is the horizontal asymptote here. Something to look at, why don't I have a vertical asymptote? As I zoom out very, very far, it looks like there might be a vertical asymptote right here, right? Well, if you think about it, that's not quite true because the, the x is your independent variable. I can put 100 in for x. I can do 2 to the 100th. I can do 2 to the 300th. And it's just going to be an incredibly large number. The reason that this looks like it might be an asymptote is simply because we have an exponential equation, and exponential equations grow so very large, very quickly, that it appears to be straight up and down but I could do 2 to the 15 thousandths. It's just going to be an incredibly large number. That's why this appears here, but there is no vertical asymptote. And as we get to more complicated exponential equations, you'll notice that that asymptote can actually move around based on what happens in the equation. It's not always right there at zero, even though the simple exponential equations we're working with right now are we will get to when the asymptote actually moves around later in the week.